on to dessert. Let them eat cake and butter pudding. I like cake and I like bread pudding, so if you put them together, that's a winning dish for me. I do like my bread and butter pudding, but I like mine with custard. How do you feel about out-of-date cake? I'm going to be using stale cake to make a kind of cake and butter pudding. It's a beautiful cherry Madeira cake, and it was going to be thrown away. Cake chopped, she covers with an eggy, milky, vanilla-y batter, then sprinkles with sugar. And that is how you repurpose old cake. She'll bake her old cake later and serve with a fruit compote. The vegans, however, will be eating something different. Meringues. <laughs> well, that's tickled him. Is it just like a meringue on a plate? One word. Brilliant. So, for vegan meringues, instead of using eggs, you use aquafaba, which is the water that has leached protein out of a tin of chickpeas. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't smell very appetising. Well, that's a good start. Oh. Paula drains the chickpeas, sticks the aquafaba into the mixer and adds sugar. It's looking great, but it still smells like feet. Not the aroma you were going for. More sugar's added, then vanilla. Let's hope it doesn't taste as bad as it smells. And? Actually, I'm really surprised. The smell seems to have gone as well. Either that or you've got used to it. Paula scrapes out the fake meringue mix into a piping bag. I think I've overfilled the bag. And, well, splodges it onto a baking tray. Oh, no! Whoopsie! OK, OK, OK. Um, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. No, no, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Is it, though? That one in the middle is going to remind him of some dog toffee. But that's all right, it's going to taste OK. Fingers crossed. They go into bake and will be served with fruit and vegan cream. So my prep's done. I'm going to go and zhuzh myself up a bit. Go on, get zhuzhing then. I'm going to go out fighting with my dessert and the story behind where the ingredients have come from, I hope, will make them realise absolutely once and for all who I am. Paula whips up a vegan cream, hikes out her repurposed cake and butter pudding. Oh, yes. Generously sloshes with amaretto. Um, it stuck a little bit. <laughs> and buries it in fruit. Dollop, dollop, dollop. At least I'm ending the evening on a triumph. You hope. Sounds more like an Enfield to me. Still, there it is. Cake and butter pudding with vegan meringues for the Dairy Dodgers. Tuck in. I hope you enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. The Madeira cake's lovely. I can really no. taste the amaretto. Mm. Mm. This reminds me of Christmas. Really? Yeah. This, the fruit cake. And the booze. How did you make this? I want to make this too. This is delicious. As you did notice on the table, there's reuse, recycle. So this was a stale cake that was past its best before date that I just put some amaretto and some eggs and milk in, baked it, um, and repurposed it into new cake. That cake would have gone to landfill if it wasn't going in your tummy. I think... That's really commendable. Everything you have eaten tonight, the majority of it has been past its best before dates. I love your whole concept for this evening. I think it's been absolutely brilliant. It does make me a bit uncomfortable, a bit nervous, but it tastes amazing. Obviously, some people have a problem with uh, food past its best before dates, but um, what, what's the strangest thing you've ever eaten or put in your mouth? Oh, I love this one. The most unpleasant thing I've put in my mouth is a scallop. Oh, it's always scallops or snails. Anyone else? I have to put the end of my hoover in my mouth quite regularly because of all the cat hair. What? And you have to go... <laughs> and it all... and it comes out the end. Into the oh, end. I thought you meant you sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, that's quite enough of that. 